Hi, Justyna and Kuba. We are a couple from Poland who travels around Europe in search of traces of our prehistory and inspiring places. And everything we find, we share with you in our videos. Today we are taking you again to Dolny Westonice in Czech Moravia, because we want to show you the world's oldest depiction of an identified person. This depiction is about 31 to 27 thousand years old. Videos about extremely interesting archaeological sites on Pavlov Hills have already been. Links to them are under this content. So now briefly to avoid repeating myself. This area between Dolny Westonites and Pavlov about 30,000 years ago was one of the most important Paleolithic settlements and cultural centers in Europe. Some settlements were of a permanent nature, inhabited all year round. This location is exceptional due to concentration of settlements, the richness of decorative objects, human and animal ceramic figurines, ivory carvings, ritual burials and evidence of using textiles. The settlements reached their peak about 31 to 29 thousand years ago. Look at the so-called Calendar of Ages. It is the profile in Lois walls of the brickyard in Dolny Westonice. On this wall you can see preserved sequence of geological layers from the last ice age. Layers of loess and soil reveal alternating periods of dry cold and moist warm. The period of settlement between 31 and 27 thousand years ago is darker in color. You can find it at a depth of 6 to 7 meters, about halfway down the profile. Below and above is loess from the maximums of ice age. And now in front of your eyes is the site of Dolny Westonice 1, which interests us today. The settlement found here was inhabited all year round. It has been excavated from the year 1924 by Karel Absolon. There was an information board here a few years ago, the one you're looking at. It informed that during long years of excavations, archaeologists discovered here outlines of circular and oval dwellings and fireplaces. Many figurines made of baked clay and their fragments were found near some fireplaces. Maybe the oldest pottery in the world? They depict human, mainly female, figures of animals like mammoths, lions, rhinos, big herbivores, but also owls. The most famous is the ceramic figurine of Black Venus. On the surface of some pottery fragments, the researchers identified fingerprints and imprints of the oldest textiles. In this site, researchers found also very interesting sculptures carved from mammoth ivory. Look at this one. It is stylized to a degree that allows double reading. You can interpret this figurine as a female or a male motifs. And this reminds me of the famous triple burial from Dolny Westonice, link under this video. In this burial, the middle person had male and female features. Recent research identified this person as a young man, but for many years he was thought to be a woman. These findings also remind me that in many cultures hermaphroditism expresses fullness. Although the figurine is not a hermaphrodite, but a deeply symbolic representation due to its non-concreteness. In Dolny Westonice 1, archaeologists found two more sculptures made of mammoth tusk, realistic this time. One of them is a small, 5.5 cm high, woman's head with a mouth carved as land and the cup or a hairstyle resembling the recently fashionable bun. The second one is also a head, but it's rather a mask. It is four and a half centimeters high, 
and it has a similar asymmetry of the mouth as the sculpture's woman's head. And what about the original of these sculptures? There were four, six complete human skeletons on Pavlov Hills from the time between 31 and 27,000 years ago. In 1949, one of them was found at the site Dolnivestonice 1. In the upper part of the site, a woman at the age between 35 and 45 years old was buried. She was lying on her right side in the dwelling and near fireplaces. Her position was so hunched that her knees tucked closely into her body. It was so significant that the author of the reconstruction in the Akio Park Pavlov presented her tied with a rope. The author did not mean the offering, but rather possibly some metaphysical matters. It wasn't rather about practical matters, like frozen ground, because the woman wasn't buried deep. What is interesting for our topic today, there is apparent asymmetry of her lower jaw, like in the two figurines made of mammoth tusk. That's why researchers think that the figurines showing the head of the woman are the oldest depiction of an identified person. The woman's body was covered with marly earth, with red ochre, and most of the pigment was found on her skull and mainly on the upper part of the body. Two mammoth shoulder blades, closely adjoining each other, were placed on top of the body. In the grave beside her were several flint blades and here two versions. Ten drilled fox teeth or, second version, arctic fox skeleton. The first version is most probable, but ultimately I don't know. The woman is known as a shaman, but maybe these mammoth shoulder blades lead the reasoning that it was a great huntress. I know they were protecting her body, but the communities from Dorini Vestonais were able to protect the grave without covering the body with mammoth shoulder blades. After all, she was definitely someone important to the community, which is why she was buried that way. That is, in a hut near other houses with a heart next to the burial. There were not many similar burials in that area, including famous triple burial. They were so protected that they have survived almost undisturbed to our times. All ordinary burials have completely disappeared. Look at this sketch of the excavations. Here are some structures, huts with fired ceramics. And this one, number two, is the hut with the female burial. Near this structure is the big heart. Inside the heart, the famous black Venus figurine was found in the ashes. This hearth was probably also in the hut. What is interesting, the heart with the black Venus figurine is dated some 1,000 or 2,000 years before the burial of the woman. Near the dwellings with the burial and with the black Venus, a large accumulation of mammoth bones was found. Maybe this is one of the reasons why the woman was called a shaman? In the ancient beliefs of the northern peoples, Bones stored the spirit or perhaps souls of animals that could give the future animals a form of flesh and blood. Or perhaps the buried woman was a great huntress or an excellent tracker? Summing up, almost 30,000 years ago, Dolny Vestonais in Czech Moravia was one of the most important cultural centers in Europe. There were many, often all year round, settlements. In one of them was the burial of a woman important to the community. Maybe a shaman or a great huntress? Or an important leader? At the same time, this is the person who gave her face to two heads, carvings from mammoth tusks found near her. Very interesting. And look what we found near the site I was talking about. A little stone. 
a small piece of stone that looks like some female baked clay figurines from those distant times. This one is made by nature, but it still increased the feeling of touching the world from 30,000 years ago. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and till the next time. Bye bye.